Kim Kilmer of Lambertville, New Jersey, is the founder of the Schultz Senior Dachshund Sanctuary. The mission of the sanctuary is to come to the aid of dachshunds whose owners no longer want them or are unable to care for them. Oftentimes, these dachshunds are facing euthanasia in shelters. Only after all local adoption possibilities have been exhausted will Kim's group step in. At this time, the animal is transported to New Jersey, where it will stay with Kim or one of the sanctuary's other foster families. What I usually do is allow them a few weeks to get their bearings. We see what we have in foster. What are they good? Do they like cats? Do they like kids? Do they like dogs? We're told these things ahead of time, but the only way to find out for sure is to actually live with them. And my foster mothers are wonderful at determining all of these things. And if the dog has a special need or a habit we need to work with a little bit, or just something that's kind of glaring that we need to address. Once I have my bearings on the dog, then I, I bring it up here to Dr. Tyndall and we have a, you know, an intake exam with him. We see what's good, what's bad, where we need to go from here. Kim's organi organization is special because she deals with geriatric dogs, older dogs that most times come in with health problems or some sort of condition that needs to be treated and she takes them in and addresses those problems. Um, unlike most other rescue groups that deal with younger animals or puppies, Kim takes the geriatrics that actually need the help so, and does a very good job with it. Dachshunds like to get skin conditions. They, um, a lot of Kim's dogs come in with dental problems and we have to address. Um, they get back problems. Um, fortunately we haven't had too many of those. Mm -hmm. but. For these guys, the ones that I've seen from Kim typically are your common geriatric problems as well as skin and, and dental. So. With health issues addressed and the assessments from the foster mothers complete, Kim's able to get to work placing each dachshund in the most appropriate forever home. When doing this part of the job, Kim has an amazing gift based mainly in her extensive understanding of the breed. What you and I might see as an unlikely match, Kim sees as a perfect pairing. For me personally, I've just loved the breed since I was a young person and met one in sixth grade that I never forgot about and swore I'd have one one of those days, and, uh, <laughs> and I did. And Schultz is, was my first dachshund, and I named my rescue efforts after him. He was 17 when he passed, and um, I just adore the breed. Appropriately matched senior dachshunds make such loving, wonderful pets. Many adopters can't imagine having just one. People ask me why I can, how I can do this. How can you help senior dogs that you know are going to die in two years? How can you make the commitment? How can you get attached? Um, I can't not do it. Uh, it's just a part of me. It's just something I like to do. Everybody wants the youngsters. Everyone wants the young ones. And I think if people are made aware that these dogs just make great pets, they never forget where they came from, and they just bond so easily to people. They're so easily trainable, and they, they, they're just so devoted. I enjoy helping people to see the light on, the, on that and uh, get them placed in comfortable homes. I go around and visit everybody and see how they're doing. And you know, I like to think they remember me. I don't think they do, but I like to think they might remember me just briefly a little bit. But. Um, it just brings me such satisfaction to be able to help the older ones that no one wants anymore.